But something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. Don't waste any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. I won't, until Ciri decides otherwise. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Kira will not join in this endeavor. But the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, Channel? I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk.
Washed your hair lately. Ah. Oh, God. A reaper's come for me. Beware, freak. Should have stayed in the forest with my gift. What's the rush? Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You've barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. Thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would have. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the Hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Dayrath before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. Burned. Alive. One after the other. The most talented girls in the North. Radovid was saving me for last. If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novograd, I received a message from Biruta Ekati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivero. The rest are dead. It is over. Later I learned priests of the Eternal Fire stood amidst the Academy's ruins, promising the rabble that such a punishment awaited all mages and traitors. Farewell, Rita. Oh, you make a fine sailor. Till the puking set in. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You stood to gain. That is why you saved me. Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... Do you not remember we were once lovers? Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted. Quarreled, even. Ah, you see, Geralt, 
There are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. Farewell. Yes, Geralt? So long, Triss. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds. What's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first. But in time, it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere, once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala, or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power? It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Geralt? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Djinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yen. See you later. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. The King of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagal Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aroden into a trap.
settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. wish to see Kroch. It's just that... What if I disappear again tomorrow? For good this time, like my mother did. I feel like I shouldn't see anyone who... was fond of me. At least not until we defeat the Wild Hunt. We can always drop you back on the Isle of Mists. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> 